it's going to bring up um, iDVD. All right. So it, it's going to default to um, name your DVD whatever the file name is. Um, saved on your hard drive. Mine's called Final Works. Um, I'm just going to change it to Application. So if I click on it and highlight it, I can change that to Application. Okay. Um, then you have a Play Movie button and a Scene Selection button. Okay, so the Play Movie will be sort of your play all. It'll play all my videos all the way through the way that I have it set up in my uh, iMovie timeline. The scene selection button, if I double click on that, um, it's going to take me to the menu. Okay, and these are your chapters. So I set one for embrace, I set one for shaving cream, and I set one for tape and peanut butter. Um, this is nice because you don't have to watch everything. If you just want to show somebody a certain video, you can quickly get to that. It's so it makes it really nice. Um, I'm just going to go back. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to drag a photo or something here and this will be the background image of uh, your DVD. So I'm going to take this picture called shaving cream and I can just drag it and drop it. Um, and it's pretty big so I'm just going to move it around a little bit. That seems that seems okay. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to drop an image in my chapter section. So I double click on scene selection. I'll say drag photos or movies here. You can drag it a, a photo or a movie. I'm just going to do a photo. This file is pretty big as well. Okay. So that just puts a nice little background image there. Um, once that's done, you have your chapters in there and everything, you can test the DVD um, just to see how it, it'll simulate if you were actually to put it into um, a DVD player. So you go to the play button. So you have play. Okay. So then if I go up here, this is sort of your simulated controller on your DVD uh, player. So when you pop in your movie, it will be it'll default to the menu. So if I click on that, actually it's title. Well, you want to go to your title. Okay. So when you pop in your DVD or DVD player, it'll look like this. It'll say application, um, and then I can go to my play movie, and then I'll go right into uh, the movie that I made in iMovie. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop that. So that's going right in where I want it. I hit stop. That'll stop my movie. And go back to my menu. And I'm out of that play mode. Um, so let's just do preview DVD again. Alright, I'm in my menu. I want to go to scene selection. This is where we added our chapters. Scene selection. Then you can go to the different pieces. Um, I'll go to peanut butter. Make sure that's all linked up the way I want it. So if I click on peanut butter, it goes right into my peanut butter video. Works like a charm. Um, you're going to get a little bit of distortion. Um, just in the rendering because these files are pretty big but they'll be fine when you actually go to burn it so it looks like everything that I did um, is the way I want it so I can just stop that um, and the other thing you can do is look at it at the DVD map um, when you start to get really complicated you're gonna have sort of all these sub menus of maps um, so if you look here, this is sort of my menu page, then there's two buttons on my menu page, my play, play button and then my scene selection button. Um, that's where it says play movie and that's where it says scenes selection. Um, then off my scene selection I have embrace, shaving cream, and tape. So those are the different um, chapters that I set up in iMovie.
Um, and that is basically it of sort of how working with um, uh, working with chapters in iMovie um, and then importing them to I, iDVD. So after you've checked your DVD, it, it seems great. Um, all you have to do now is burn it. Um, and you can do that by going down to this button right here. It says burn this project to a disk. Go click it. And it's going to say insert a, re a recordable DVD disk. All you got to do is pop in a, a DVD-R um, is what I recommend. Um, on most of the newer Macs, you're able to burn a dvd dash R or a DVD plus R. Um, on some of the older ones, you want a DVD dash R. Um, so as soon as you pop in that DVD, it'll start burning. And once it's done, it'll be complete and you'll have created a DVD with chapters.